We're out here in beautiful West Branch, Northeast Ohio. You guys asked for it. Roll the intro. That's right, we're out here at West Branch here on the east side of the lake. Uh, it's east of Rock Springs Road, and we're fishing some underground piles here. Let's see if we can't get on something. Here we go. I forgot a soda. Now we're ready. Now today I'm fishing with the Micro Minsky. This is our mini Minsky, brand new bait here. We just recently came out with. Fishing it on a four mil tungsten head. I have a spot over here that I typically fish. All right, let's creep up here to this spot. See if we can't get on something, boys and girls. We got a lot of fish just hovering in the middle here. That's usually a good sign. I couldn't ask for a better wind, but the clarity of the water is still in early April, about six inches deep, which is very, very muddy for this lake. A little bit worrisome. I'm gonna go with a darker color because of that. Cruise over here. Coming up on our spot now slowly. Well, what I like to do here typically, and the way I found this spot is I put my screen on side scan. And for those that don't have side scan, with this style of fishing, you're at an extreme disadvantage. But what I like to do is shoot like 150 feet, maybe even a hundred foot beam out. And then I'll start scanning around for uh, structure. And then what I do is I'll pin up that structure as I'm scanning. You just take the little crosshairs, put it right over that, that uh, structure that you find, pin it up, go back to your GPS screen and hover your boat right over that spot and then pin up and start live scanning. Some fish here. Doesn't look like there's a ton, no. We're starting to get into spawn season, so I don't expect a lot of crappie on structure today, at least deep structure, but we're certainly gonna give it a shot, see if we can't get lucky here. First cast, caught my reel. Let's try that again, here we go. All I'm doing is taking it right down to the structure and just kind of popping it right above where they're at. See if I can't get lucky and get a bite here. I'm not seeing a lot of very big fish though, which leads me to believe that they might be shallower. We're in a super deep part of the lake right now. This is 29 feet. Water temp's getting into the 50s, so that's that's actually, it's even silly, honestly, for me to fish this right now. Oh, we got a lot of fish down on the other side though. We're gonna keep fishing this, see how we do. I gotta be smart with color too this time of year. Uh, especially when the water is really dirty like this. I got my gain real high too, so I can see it in this muddy water. The, the question is though, are they gonna be able to see it in this muddy water? I'm getting some reactions here. Now I'll tell you what, I'm still getting used to the live scanner. It is a world of difference in comparison to um, like an actual like live scope pole that you would use manually. Um, it is definitely different. And uh, it is, I like it a lot better, honestly. Um, I'm just. It takes some getting used to. When you're used to only fishing with one hand, it takes some getting used to for sure. All right, I'm gonna go up into some shallower water. There's not a lot of fish on this structure. So I'm gonna head forward here to another pin that I have posted up here. Cruise over to this spot over here, a little closer to shore. I feel like we're gonna find more fish. Now they're probably finding safety in this in this really muddy, mucky water. So it's gonna be an interesting day. We'll try to figure this out together. Here we go, let's see what these fish are. 10 feet from the boat, nice and easy. They're sticking too. I'm gonna brighten my backlight up. My backlight is all the way up, but I'm right in the sun today, which makes it very difficult to see my bait here. Oh, I'm getting a chaser. It's acting like crop, you guys. like crappie I did get a chaser he chased me for a little bit see if we can't get one of these babies on here there's one fish on let's see what we got here we got a dinkster 9000 dinkster 9000 Hey, we're on though. We found that they are a little shallower and they're seeing orange really good. They're reacting to orange a lot better than the other colors in this stain. Now we do have a nicer crappie down there. Let's see what we got here. 
they're moving closer to the boat. That wind has also changed direction. When you're live scooping also, wind is actually an advantage. Mm, another one. Fish on. This feels better. This is a better fish. There we go. Still Dink City, but we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Two on. Let's let's uh let's get these this counter going. One, two on. We got a bigger fish down there right now still. Let's see, where are you guys at? Where are you boys at? These fish are moving. Where'd they go? They're like right off the bottom. Let's see if I can't get this one over here. I'm kind of sniping. Kind of picking one one at a time because they're a little bit scattered. Because I'm fishing by myself today too, big thanks to this uh, double seat mount, I can actually crank or loosen this up and I can turn it so it's towards me. I like a gnat. Shout out to double seat. Not my weight, not my weight, not my weight. He's chasing my weight. Here we go. I got him on my bait now. Mm, got him. I didn't even feel that bite. Still Dink City, guys, but we are catching fish at least. There we go. I'm dropping right on these two bigger fish, it seems. See if we can't get these guys to pay attention. There we go. Come on. Oh, they didn't want it. They were like, no, thank you, senor. Oh, snappy pappy. We done found a pile of them, boys and girls. Little Dinky, look at that. I'll be <laughs> Exactly, you gotta go like good. It's four pounds. Here's another one, guys. That was a bluegill. The old blue dini came out of nowhere. Bluegill are easier to, uh, to spot because they're more round on the screen. Sometimes though, when they're real active, it's hard to tell, at least for me. Mm. Short strikes, these fish look pretty small, y'all. So we're gonna probably post up this uh, spot here. I mean, well, there's are, there are a couple big ones in there. I don't know, I'm gonna keep going. A couple more drops, see what's up. And go and pull the trigger on some new grass camo at the Bass Pro. Find some peace of mind from a knock em down blind at my honey hole. Make the green heads cut shot, palm shot, palm black lab swimming back to the boat. Gotta get my ducks, get my ducks in a row. So it's the next day, and man, I had a blast out there catching these dinky little dang crappies. I did get into a little bit of a bigger size at the end of the day when my batteries, of course, were dead, but most of them are real small. You know what? I like pile fishing. I know the bigger crappie are starting to move in to start spawning this time of year, but I had a lot of fun just sitting on a big old pile of dinks slaying them. I ended up with over 100 fish that day, had a lot of fun with the mini Minskis. If you guys want to check out the mini Minskis, I'm going to put the link down in the description below. Check them out. They're coming here soon. Also, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment below, Minsky. Thank you. I appreciate that. If you'd also do me a huge favor, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Share it with your favorite friend. Make sure you subscribe. We appreciate you. We will see you on the next one. Firewood ain't been split in a month Side by side still covered in mud Got a long list to the gotta get done Gotta get my ducks in a row And go and pull the trigger